Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for bringing us all here today. We come to you with love, and we come to you with just an outpouring of family, of love for each other. We thank you for all the people that have come, all the guests that traveled from far and close, that you pr protected them in their travels, that you got them here safely, Father. We thank you for Courtney and Jake for their example of love for each other. Father, if uh, anybody here needs an example of what a loving couple looks like, what that means, look no further than right at the front of the room at Courtney and Jake, because their love for each other is evident, as is their love for all the people in their lives, all the people that they touch every day. And God, I just pray throughout this marriage that you'll bless it, that you'll keep yourself at the center of it, that they'll always turn to you, and they'll take that and turn outwards to the people around them as they already have, Father. We're just so thankful for all the blessings you put in our lives, all of the family that is able to be here today, and the family members that aren't here today but are watching over us right now. God, we love you and just bless this marriage until the end of their days. Amen. Please repeat after me. I, Courtney, I, Courtney. Take, you, Jake, take you, Jake, to be my best friend, be my, best friend. my faithful partner, and my one true love. I promise to encourage you and inspire you and to love you truly through good times and bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you, to lift you up when you are down, and to love you unconditionally through all of our adventures together. I, Jake, take you, Courtney, to be my best friend, my faithful partner, and my one true love. I promise to encourage you and inspire you and to love you truly through good times and bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you, to lift you up when you are down, and to love you unconditionally through all of our adventures together. We are here to celebrate two souls who have found each other and have chosen to commit to each other for the rest of their lives. Two people who have spent a considerable amount of time getting to know one another and have come away from it not only wanting to know yet more and more, but to bind themselves together, confident that that desire to know more will never fade. After a great deal of consideration and making what was probably the easiest decision of their lives, Jake and Courtney have decided to join themselves, and may we all remember and cherish the memory of this happy occasion. Ah. Ephesians 4 says, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep this unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. 1 Corinthians says, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Today is a momentous day, but it's just the beginning of a long, long road. Work together to let your love grow so that every day you love and every day you are loved more than you have ever been in your life. I don't think anyone here or anyone that knows you is even in the least bit surprised that the two of you ended up together. You share a strong faith, a great love for family, your personalities and strengths complement each other's. You both love animals and adventure, but perhaps most notably, you each improve the lives of each and every person that you come into contact with. You're both selfless and inspiring in your actions. The incredible part is that together, the positive effect that you have uh, on others is amplified. You truly make each other better as easily as you make better those around you. I have no doubt in my mind that wherever life leads, you two together will continue to be a force for positive change to the lives of every single person fortunate enough to meet you. Everything and yet nothing really will change after today. Yes, you will have said some words and made some commitments, uh, but you two are already committed to each other. You already loved and trusted one another. After today, you'll have a piece of paper that says you spoke your vows and you will have confirmed to God in the great state of Colorado that which you already knew in your hearts, that you love each other, that you will love each other. The important thing about today is that it's a big step, but with many more yet to come. 
speaking your vows and getting married is not the goal or the finish line, but rather an important early milestone of your journey together. Courtney and Jake, I challenge you with this. Never stop growing in your love for one another. Never be content with what you have and with what you're giving. Grow together emotionally and spiritually, and never forget that sense of wanting to be the best person that you can be, because Jake, Courtney deserves it, and Courtney, Jake deserves it too. Jake, do you take Courtney to be your lawfully wedded wife, to cherish her for who she is, to share life's adventures, standing with her in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and in ease, to love her forevermore until the end of your days? I do. Courtney, do you take Jake to be your lawfully wedded husband, to cherish him for who he is, to share life's adventures, standing with him in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and in ease, to love him forevermore until the end of your days? I do. With your vows spoken and rings exchanged, and by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you, Jake and Courtney, as husband and wife. Jake, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and my distinct pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jake Norman. Said I'd be free, and that's the day you came to me. She wanted me to meet someone she had been seeing. Couldn't wait to meet him. They came over to my house for dinner, and upon walking in, Jake gave me a hug, and immediately handed me a bottle of wine, and dessert. So yes, of course, <laughs> Throughout the night, he continued to win everybody over, of course, including 
including my most hard to impress child and youngest child, Kaden. Um, all of the things I've ever wanted for my best friend, I saw in Jake that night. He's kind, considerate, and a wonderful person to be around. Um, the night she introduced me to him, she was just glowing, and that glow has just continued to grow ever since then. Jake, thank you for being the prince among the pros. I am so excited for you guys to share your lives together. And I wish for this to be the first of many best days of your lives together. May you two have the two essentials for a lasting marriage, a sense of humor and selective hearing. Congratulations, you guys. <laughs> Cheers. I just flew out of town, and then my mom was tired. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not good, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, no problem with you out there. <laughs> Courtney, you're so lucky to be married to tall, handsome, strong. <laughs> Damn right, sex, Kate. Just kidding. Uh, wish you guys a happy marriage for the rest of your lives. Uh, thanks for driving me out here. I'm glad I can make it out here. And uh, let's say for both of you guys. Try again. Yeah. Here's to you guys. I want to say thank you, everybody, for being here and sharing in this joyous occasion with Courtney and Jake. Um, this is truly a special thing. Um, as a father of the bride, and, and I'm sure most of you guys, if you have daughters, you understand this, that a daughter just holds a special place in your heart. And it doesn't matter how grown up she is, how strong and independent she is, she's always your little girl. Um, and as she's growing up, Krista and I, we uh, always wanted the best for Courtney. She was a very independent young lady, um, knew what she wanted and went for it. And uh, but. Really, from us, we just wanted her to be happy in whatever she did and the, have the very best. And um, if you look at the pictures on the TV screen that have been on all evening, I think you'll agree that in Jake she found exactly that. So, uh, welcome to family, Jake, and I hope that you guys have many more years of that kind of happiness and love. And uh, here's to you. Oh, I could be the man who grows old with